caution only. There's a serious risk of injury to yourself when performing this trick because you're sticking sharp objects that are never meant to be stuck. We here at Bob's Magic Emporium are not liable for any injury caused when performing or practicing this trick. We highly recommend here at Bob's Magic Emporium that you go out and find somebody in your area who's been doing the trick for years and who can make sure that you are performing the trick safely and correctly. This has been a public service announcement from Bob's Magic Emporium. And now, here's the next new School of Magic. Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium. Time for the next all-new The School of Magic. Class is in session every Friday right here on The School of Magic. Okay. The intro at the top of the show, guys, the warning is no joke. You want to be very careful when attempting this trick because you're sticking sharp objects somewhere where they really honestly shouldn't go. Um, but you just want to be really careful. Uh, you know, it, it, you can do this safely, but it's very important to do it correctly because you do not want to injure yourself. Uh, this is something that I do on the street. When I do street magic all the time, it grosses people out. They love seeing it. At the end of the show, they're always like, oh, that thing was so cool that you did. I don't want to spoil it in case you've never seen this yet. But it's a lot of fun to do. But again, there is that serious risk of in they're Not serious, but there is a risk of injury if you're not extremely careful. This is the human blockhead. Now, I have no way of proving the nail is real, but I do want you to see that it doesn't bend, it doesn't break, it doesn't come apart. I can bang on it, it doesn't come apart. It's an ordinary nail, and this is an ordinary screwdriver. We don't have to worry about the screwdriver part, just the handle. I want you to see that it is a regular screwdriver. Now, the human blockhead is a sideshow feat that was popular by vaudevillian uh, entertainers and also sideshow artists back at the turn of the 20th century. And all the way to about the mid-20th century. People would do this on the boardwalk of like Coney Island. Uh, they would swallow swords, they would eat fire, uh, lay on beds of nails, and do this trick called the human blockhead. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nail and I'm going to shove it into an orifice of my body. Which one? That's for you to decide. No, I'm kidding. I'm actually going to shove it up my nose. Now, this is gross, this is disgusting, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, so, first of all, you never want to do it on this side, at least for me, because when I did it over here once, the nail, I sneezed, shot the nail, and it stuck into the wall. And now I have a new place to hang a picture if I want. So I have to do it on this side. But you know what? Just for a little bit of a challenge, I think I will try this other side today. Just for, just, just for fun. Just for fun. Alright, here we go. Watch the nail, and uh, I want you to see, first of all, that it's actually going up the nose. I'm going to show it this way. It's not going around the side or anything. It's starting to go up there already. Now, um, some people are chicken when they do this trick, and all they do is they just take the nail and they just push it in, sometimes halfway, sometimes they push it in all the way. I don't like to do that. I like to use the screwdriver end. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real quiet so you can hear it. But they'll hammer it in. See, most, most sideshow artists and magicians don't hammer the nail in. I like to do that. And there we go. Again, it's not going around the side of the nose or any secret trap door. I'll even get real close to gross you out here and show you that it, hopefully this is in camera view. It really is going up the nose. I hope you can see that. I'll get real close. Now, I'm going to stay real close because I'm going to pull the nail out and I want you to see that it really does come out of the nose and you might even see a little mucus on the nail too. So let me just pull it real slow so you can see it's coming out there. And there we go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the human blockhead. Sticking a nail up the nose. Okay. So again, this is a school of magic, so I'm going to teach you how this is done and how to do it. Again. Exercise extreme caution because, like I said, you're sticking a nail up your nose. You could move it, the nail, just the slightest little bit the wrong way, and you could give yourself a major nosebleed. I have done that once. It's not fun because I didn't have complete control of the nail. I, I, I shifted my focus. For me, I have to focus on the nail going up there so I can feel if I'm going the wrong way with the nail. Okay, so first thing you want to do is take your nail and your, uh, some people use a hammer. I use this end of the screwdriver. One, because the screw, it has to be a solid something so that you really get a nice sound when you hammer the end. I use the screwdriver because it's easy to carry in my street magic case versus a giant hammer. But what you want to do is take the nail, take the screwdriver, and just pitch them off to the side. Don't start with the nail. Now, I don't have my other prop here with me. 
So I'm going to use the nail. But you want to start off by using a cotton swab or a Q-tip. That's what you want to start off using. Shoving that up your nose first. And then work your way up to the nail. So first, pause this video. Go get a cotton swab. Do not start with a nail. Please go get a cotton swab and come on back and I'll teach you how. Alright, that should be enough time. If you didn't pause the video, please pause it. Okay. So, the first thing I want to teach you is this is not a magic trick. This is a science trick, actually. Uh, there is science in play here when you actually do the human blockhead. Uh, if you Google a picture of the inside of your nose, uh, like an actual like uh, science picture, like, you know, the, of the muscle tissue and the bone and all that, in your nose there is your nasal cavity. It is basically like a thin tunnel or a thin channel in your nose. And it's just uh, tissue is all it is. It's muscle tissue. There's no bone. There's no nothing. It's just muscle tissue. Basically, uh, I'm going to try to do this. Uh, there, your nasal cavity is about that big. And when the nail goes in, it goes along the underside of your nasal cavity. And then it also goes right along the top. So it kind of goes something like, I'm trying to, something kind of like that. And basically, it can go all the way back. Now, when you look at some people's noses, you know, some noses look like they go up, some look like they go down a little bit, and some noses look like, you know, it, the nail could go straight back. Um, but for the, but all the time, it's just a, it's just like a little channel, and you're, boom, it, the nail just goes right down your nasal cavity, right down that little channel. Now, what I will say is um, the nosebleed comes in because there is t uh, muscle around there, and, you know, because you, the end of the nail obviously is sharp, uh, it's just like if you rub the nail across your skin, if you dig it in real deep, you're going to start bleeding. Same thing against your, um, the muscles in your nose and the skin in your nose. Not skin, but the, but the muscles in your nose. So um, you want to be really careful. And when you start putting the nail in the nose, you're going to feel if you're not going up your nasal cavity. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel like you're hitting flesh. So that's a key to pull it back out and then stick it back in. So take your uh, Q-tip uh, and uh, just stick it, uh, I, uh, I think what you want to do actually is break the end of it. So break it in the middle, break your Q-tip, and the non-furry end, so the stick end, you want to start shoving up your nose. Again, this is not going to hurt your nose if you stick it up there and you, and you hit it. You may just get a, you know, a little tiny little drop of blood or something, but it's not going to be like you stick a nail up there and miss the first few times. So what you want to do is you want to stick it, the, the, the Q-tip, the end of the Q-tip, right up your nose and just go as, as far back. Now again, hold on to that end of the Q-tip. Don't let it go and don't push it because you don't want to get the Q-tip stuck up in there. That would be a really weird story to go to, a, to the emergency room and say, I was putting a Q-tip up my nose. They would be like, why? Um, so just push it back there and then pull it out. Push it in, pull it out. Push it in, pull it out. I'm going to show you with the nail. So again, just push it up there, and you're going to feel if you're not going down your nasal cavity. Now, for the most part, nasal cavities, they don't go straight. Uh, for mine, at least, you have to kind of bend the nail. You have to push the nail down a little bit so it goes down and back. Just a tiny little bit, like a millimeter down and then back. It doesn't just go whoom like that. It goes millimeter down. You kind of notice that when I put it in, it's kind of going down, as you can see, at like a diagonal. That's because you don't want to go straight back like this, because if you go straight back, that is pretty close to your muscle tissue. If you go down a little bit and back, that's going to make it so you're kind of rolling along the bottom of the nasal cavity, which, you know, you kind of have a better feeling of when you're going to get to the end and everything. So again, the nail goes right up the nose, just like this. It goes straight back, and you want to go slow at first. Very important to go slow because of the fact if you go, uh, I know for me, I have a very bad sneeze reflex when I first started this. So even the slightest, even the tip when it hit my nose, I would start sneeze. I have to pull it out and sneeze. So that just takes practice as well. If you're sneezing a lot when you put the Q-tip in or when you move up to the nail, it's just going to have to be putting it in repeatedly until you get rid of your sneeze reflex. I'm actually able to do it now where I can put it in my nose and not sneeze. Uh, normally, this is the side that I can put it in. This side, sometimes I'll still have a sneeze reflex when I put it up there. Sometimes. But the left side is the one I normally use the most. All right, so again, put it up there. And uh, you're going to feel when you get to the end, when you don't try to force it anymore. If you can't force the nail or the Q tip up your nose anymore, that means you're at the end. Don't try to force it because then you will start nosebleeding. 
All right, so it's going to go straight up the nose and straight back. Just like that. Now, some people can just take the nail and just push it in the nose. I started off this way, but I don't like doing it because I like hammering it in with a hammer or a screwdriver end. I find a screwdriver end works a little bit better, too, for me to, so I don't actually miss and hit my face. Uh, the screwdriver end seems a little bit better. The nail, if you use a hammer, though, you can take the end of the hammer, like, to remove a nail, and you can remove it with that end, and that makes it a little more gross. But normally what I do is I say, the easy, what, normally my pattern is I'll say, this is the easy part of the trick. The hard part's getting the nail out because I don't, I don't like taking it out. Putting it in is fine. Taking it out scares me. So I want to have you take it out. And I'll actually go to somebody on the street and I'll say, will you take the nail out for me? And I'll say, pull it out real slow. So a spectator will pull the nail out. And notice also, I do want to mention that I have the nail on my nose and I can talk just fine. As long as you have it put in the nose correctly, you can talk just fine, you can move around just fine. I wouldn't move around too much, but you can talk just fine and, and banter with your audience a little bit. And it really does freak people out when you take that nail and you just start, when somebody pulls it out of your nose or you pull it out of your nose or use the end of a hammer, it really freaks people out and makes them go, oh, because they actually pull it out. And then most of the time when I pull my nail out, it has wetness on it. They can see the mucus on it. So that really makes them go, oh, when it gets pulled out. So it's a lot of fun to see their reaction. So again, safely, it, safety is the key here. When you're putting things up your nose that shouldn't go up your nose, like a nail or a Q-tip, be, just be very, very careful. Now, uh, I would practice the Q-tip for a good three, four weeks. Just keep putting it up there. Even if you feel like you're ready for a nail, don't. Um, I know when I started, I learned um, from watching a tutorial online, the same way you're doing right now, and somebody said use a Q-tip, and I just kept doing it until I was very comfortable with the Q-tip, got rid of my sneeze reflex, then I went on to a nail. Uh, I will say, um, oh, let me go on to the uh, hammering the nail in first, then I'll talk about some other tips for this trick. Uh, when you put the nail up your nose, what I normally like to do is go about halfway to where I can, the nail can just kind of rest in my nose like that. So, oh, okay, yeah, see, I just, that wasn't good. Uh, the weight of that nail was pressing against the top of my nasal cavity. I just felt that. Okay, uh, no, let me try that again. Normally, I put the nail in, see, you can even have injury here, even if you're a professional with this. <laughs> no injury, though. All right, so normally I put it in about that much I leave out. So normally, when the uh, weight of the, when the entire weight of the nail is in your nose, instead of it balancing, where it feels like the nail may tip out of your nose. So you can comfortably have it in here like this. That's where I'll leave it. Show it, and then I'll say, let's use the screwdriver too. To hammer it in, don't just start whacking at it like this. I hold the end, so I hold right below the head of the nail, and I just start hammering it in. Now, you're not really hammering the nail. The, the, the tapping action is more to make the grossing, the gross out sounding noise, the tink, 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 tink. What I do, which may not be how other people do it, but I feel it's for my own safety and security, so I know I don't push the nail too far back, is I'm just pushing the nail back the rest of the way and hitting this. So I'm just hitting it to make the tapping sound, but I'm just pushing it back with my finger as I hit it. So it looks like I'm actually hammering it in, but I'm really just pushing it back and just making the tapping noise with the, with the screwdriver. Again, you don't have to hammer the nail into your nose. You can just push it all the way in and pull it all the way out. That's fine, too. But I think hammering it in with either a hammer or the end of a screwdriver really makes people go, oh, even more. Okay, let me pull this out. The, the pulling out part is the, fun, is, is the best part of the trick for me uh, when I get the spectator to do it. So, you and pull it out. Oh, okay. So now, uh, a few things to remember. You're probably going to be scared to death the first time you take this nail and get it close to your nose. I know the first time I was, I was like, oh my god, what if I hurt myself? I was legitimately scared. But it's like a band-aid. You just got to go for it. Don't think about it. Uh, if you practice with the Q-tip, which I recommend you do, just stick, it, just stick it in there like you've been doing with the Q-tip all the time. Put it in there and it's going to feel, and, and, and after a while you're going to get used to it. And you're just going to become second nature and just be able to take a nail and just go... 
like that. Now, a couple, I want to talk about nail selection too, because I found that certain nails work the best. Uh, you want to try to get, if you can, a thicker and longer nail than I have. Now, you don't want to get too long of a nail. This is about the size you want for your nail. You want about this length. I think this is probably about uh, three, four inches of nail, maybe. You don't want like a two inch nail because that's not long enough to really freak people out. A four or five inch nail is really going to freak them out. Uh, I couldn't find any thicker nails, but I would find a little bit of a thicker nail if you can. That way you have a big thick nail hanging out of your nose. That's always fun. And a nail selection, do not go with a screw and do not go with a nail that has uh, like rivets all the way down like a screw does. You don't want that because as you push the screw into your nose, don't use a screw because those rivets are going to irritate your nose as you push it in and also as you pull it out. So stick with a nail because the nail is the best and make sure that it doesn't have, like I say, rivets all the way around. This one kind of has like a little, kind of a little bit of like a uh, candy cane pattern, but not much. It's not like indented all the way in. So very important for the nail selection there too. Okay. One more time, you stick the nail up the nose and push it back. Now, Again, if you feel like it's not going to go in or you feel like you're not going to go, imagine that you're sticking this right in a small, narrow tube. That's what you want to imagine. If you feel like the nail's not going in a small, narrow tube, you are doing it wrong. Pull the nail out and try to pull it back in again. So just put it, pull, push it in. All the way in. And again, the first few times, you're not going to want to go real fast because you might have that sneeze reflex. So you want to go real slow and you may make weird faces when you do it too. You may go oh, like that because it's going to be weird to stick something up your nose that you're not used to. And then um, you pull it out and boom, that's the human blockhead. All right, that's going to do it for this week's School of Magic. Now, again, exercise extreme caution when doing this trick. Only practice it um, again. If, and if you can, I want to recommend this too. I showed you how to do it. It would be very, very a good idea to find somebody in your area, a local magician or a sideshow artist who does this in your area. That way they can give you, give you even more pointers and they can make sure you're doing it safely. Because there's no way I can make sure you're doing it safely through the power of the internet. So it would be very important to find a live human who can, is in your area who can show you how to do this. Okay. And uh, that's going to do it. And if you actually are stupid enough to try this like I was the first time and actually stick a nail up your nose, let me know in the comments below if you tried the trick and how it worked for you. If you, again, Bob's Magic Department is not liable for any injury caused when performing or practicing this trick. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday for another all-new The School of Magic. Oh, by the way, before I forget, uh, make sure to join us in just two days when the new Sunday show will premiere right here on this channel called The Final Countdown. And give this video a big like if you're excited for the channel going seven days a week. Use the hashtag seven days of new content and follow me on all social media platforms. Links are in the description for all my social media platforms and my merchandise store and my website down below in the description. Click on them and pick up some awesome swag and all that great stuff. We'll see you next time for the School of Magic. Goodbye, everyone. If you'd like to see more awesome content, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. New videos are posted every day of the week. Also, check out my website and register so you can post in the forums, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, like me on Facebook, add me to your Google Plus circles, and check out my merchandise store to pick up some awesome swag. 444RR, game shows, magic, and more.